Home Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store. This is a story about the magic of an outdoor hockey rink, kind of. It takes place in Red Deer, Alberta, sort of. About a hockey player and his journey in the NHL. Yeah, let's just go with that. It's really a big deal when an NHL team comes to our community, but important to realize when it's an NHL team that's not the Flames or the Oilers, it was the LA Kings. There's a Hollywood to that, quite literally in this case. They came out, had a practice, quite a good turnout. We see the Kings come out of the dressing room and the dressing room's way over there. And they're walking, I don't see their skates on, so they change them. I'm saying, this is so exciting, I'm so pumped. You know, I just remember being it being a fun atmosphere. I mean, the fans were kind of into it. They were having a good time, you know, and I was surprised because, you know, we're with the Kings, so it's not like we're Calgary, Edmonton, probably their teams. Oh, we had a great deal of fun. Yeah, we never did that when I was in Calgary, but uh, came to Red Deer, but never, uh, never outdoor practice. So I said, you know, it's a first for everything. Wait a minute. Last skate with the Kings? Where are you going, Craig? So as I was walking off, most of the guys were gone. And I remember thinking, oh, this is weird. Like, I could see people kind of walking towards me. And they said, Craig, you need to come with us right now. I said, oh, is there, you know, is everything all right? No, we got Dean on the phone, and, and he wants to talk to you. I get on, and Dean says, hey, Craig, we've traded you there. And I thought, I'm in Red Deer. I gave all my stuff away. <laughs> when I got in the locker room, most everybody was already dressed and ready to go. I don't know what I was thinking, really. I went, hurried, as quick as I could, got all my stuff, had my bag, my bag sitting there, my sticks. And as I was going out, the bus is kind of leaving. We were on the bus, and we took off, and there was no Craig. And so we start messaging and figuring it out and realize he had stayed back in, in, in Red Deer. And I'm kind of standing there with my equipment in the parking lot, and I'm like, mm, it is cold. He got traded to Calgary, so it would have been one thing if he got traded somewhere else and he had travel somewhere else, but he had to come to Calgary anyway, so I think they sent a car for him or something to pick him up. Everyone left, and there was still one guy standing here. And there were some other fans standing around, and they're like, what are you doing here? Like, did they leave you? So I asked him, you miss your ride? And he says, no, I got traded. He's here, he's in Red Deer, and he's not getting back on the King's bus. I found it extremely odd. I was like, the bus left. He's still here. In the end, I was kind of surprised about the whole thing, but a little bit in shock. I made a million calls, and uh, you know, I was pretty excited that we were gonna play them the next night. I know what you're saying to yourself. Perfect ending would have been if Craig scored against his former team the next night, right? Come on, this isn't a movie. Wait, what? Deflection, rebound, he scores! Craig Conroy! Someone better not say, could you have scripted it any better than this? Could have you scripted it any better than this? I might have had four goals or five goals up to that point of the season. And get in front, Conroy scores! Craig Conroy makes it two tonight! Mark Crawford, I could hear him kind of chirping me, so I kind of gave him a big smile as it went by, thinking, I'll show you. Old Craig Conroy snapped two past us the day we traded him from Red Deer, Alberta. It's been a long season so far for me, and you know, to come in here with the atmosphere of the crowd, it was just, uh, I'm glad to be back. So I guess the moral of the story is, if you get traded and left in Red Deer, you'll probably score two goals against your former team the next night. And hey, maybe you'll even stay with that team for the rest of your career. You know, I've heard of people switching teams, uh, day of games, just walking down the locker room and playing for the other team, but never kind of quite doing it quite like this. You know, this was to the extreme. Home Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store.